Hey guys, welcome back to the latest Z Code System video. I'm Drew. Great to have you here with us once more. And thank you for tuning into the channel. If this is your first time, thanks for coming. And if you're coming back for more, then we're glad to have you back. And we hope that you like what we're putting out here at Z Code System, whether it be on the YouTube channel or over at the blog. And if you could give this video a like and subscribe to the channel so you can stay up to date with everything that we're doing at Z Code System and you can get updated on every video that we post here and then go over to the blog and check out all the contests as well as the picks and predictions that we post there every week. Now, as you can see, as you probably read uh, below the title, this is a Major League Baseball video because the Major League Baseball season is starting up next week on the 23rd and 24th of July. Baseball finally comes back and we will see some big games going on. And, you know, it's uh, it's one of those weird times again because of the coronavirus. Uh, some players have opted out of playing while others are going to continue playing. And we're going to see this very awkward, different season. Uh, rather than our usual 162-game season, we're going to be compressed into a 60-game season coming up. And, you know, I think it's going to be quite exciting as long as um, the virus can stay away from a lot of these players and a lot of these teams and people can stay safe. I think this is going to be a very exciting season, uh, a very short season that, in my opinion, might be good for baseball uh, in the way that, uh, for me, baseball seasons are too long. Um, and I think maybe a little bit more excitement could be provided by these short or by this short season and then getting into the playoffs. Now, as you can see there, we're going to take a look at which baseball club has the best odds to win the World Series uh, before the first pitch next week. Now, before we get to that, let me just direct your attention over to the latest Z Code System contest. So our new cash contest is up and you can win $500. And this is a fun contest called Spot the Ball, and it started on the 14th. And you can go over to zcodesystem.com backslash blog. You can click on the blog, the Win 500 blog, and you can read about how to enter and how this works out uh, with the daily cash rules or the daily cash contest rules, that is, and uh, how to win $500. So all you have to do is spot the ball and go and read up on all the instructions how to do that. So who doesn't need another $500 right now to use on whatever it is that you like, whether it be on betting on baseball, or maybe you want to use it on something that you fancy, maybe that new baseball cap or new baseball glove or, or something that you fancy uh, before the baseball season starts up. So go on over there and uh, enter the win 500 contest and uh, get in on things at Z code system. Now let's take a look at, as I said earlier, which baseball club is going to be uh, or has the best odds going into Major League Baseball season to win the World Series? Okay, so as you can see here, I've just simply opened up the blog that we have posted this week on Z Code System, which baseball club has the best odds to win the World Series in 2020. And I don't think it's going to be a shock to see which teams uh, are favored by sports books. There are two teams right now that have the best odds to win the World Series. And I'm sure you can guess because one is in our featured image there on the blog, and that's the LA Dodgers who go into this season as one of the two favorites. And the other is, of course, of course, the New York Yankees. So the two teams from uh, one from the National League, one from the American League that have the best uh, offenses going into this and probably the most exciting teams. Now, of course, we saw the Washington Nationals win the World Series last season, uh, despite the Dodgers winning, I believe it was 106 games uh, during the regular season. You know, that's one of the things that uh, I think a lot of people may not, uh, you know, uh, older generations of baseball fans may not enjoy is that uh, three division system, as well as the two wild cards. You know, there was a time when we saw baseball, the stronger teams uh, in each league go on to the World Series when we just had the two divisions. Of course, it's been, what is it, maybe 25 years since we've seen the three divisions in each league. So I'm talking like an old man here. But 
uh, you know, it's a little bit diluted when we get to the postseason. It's which team gets hot. So that, you know, you have to temper your futures bet on the World Series for that. But let's take a look at these odds. Uh, I'm just going to scroll down the blog. And, of course, you can go over and read the blog uh, and get some information there and check out the odds. So I've just scrolled down. And as you can see, the odds here uh, that came up this week that were posted. And you can see the Dodgers and the Yankees leading there. Uh, Astros, Braves, look like they're going to have another good season. They signed Yasiel Puig this week uh, to go along with their uh, outfield. I believe he's going to be their fourth outfielder, uh, possibly work his way into the starting three. Um, and that uh, that signing came about because Nick Markakis uh, decided to opt out of uh, playing in the shortened season. And we got the Twins, Tampa Bay, quite high there on the list. And uh, as you can scroll down, you can see that they're plus 2,000, the reigning World Series champions. That's the Washington Nationals. And then my team, the New York Mets, plus 2,200. Geez, I don't know how uh, the Mets are going to fare this year, but, uh, you know, hopefully it won't be too bad. But as you see, we can scroll down and we can see some of these other teams that uh, are uh, not favored so much by the sports books, uh, ending there with the Pittsburgh Pirates being plus 30,000, along with the Baltimore Orioles. <laughs> Look at that Miami. They don't even... Uh, they get a little bit better love or more love from the sports books. They're not the bottom of the uh, betting odds. So that's a win for the Marlins. But it's going to be a, a very interesting season with the 60 games that are going to be played in the regular season before we get to the playoffs. Uh, the season will be um, condensed, a sprint, and uh, once we get to September, we're going to have the playoffs starting up. Of course, uh, there are a few little tweaks and changes this season with the uh, with Major League Baseball, and I just want to talk about a few of those right now to refresh your memory before you start wagering on games next week. Okay, let's just refresh our memories over a few things. I talked about a couple of weeks ago here on our YouTube channel uh, about the Major League Baseball season coming up, and I just want to refresh some of your memories just in case that you may have missed it, forgotten about it, uh, or you may not remember as we go into the season. Now, of course, next week, July 23 and 24, those are going to be the first days of the season. That first night, we're going to see two games, Yankees and Nationals going at it, and Giants and Dodgers. Now, the following day, the 24th, should be a full slate of games uh, going on. Of course, everything is dependent on COVID-19 right now, and uh, some of the different little, uh, some of the different laws that are going to be uh, possibly passed uh, in various cities around the country. I know that LA has a uh, quarantine uh, law that they're talking about, or they may have even already implemented, uh, and the Dodgers are, are looking to get around some of these rules that the quarantine is going to uh, put in place. So um, there's going to be some different things like that to watch out for if you're a baseball veteran fan. So be sure that you are checking up on all that kind of news. Now, this is going to be a 60-game season, as we said. Uh, each club will play 40 games against their division rivals uh, to prevent cross-country travel. So we're going to see a lot of rivalry games going at it. And then the other 20 games of the season will be made up against teams in the opposite league's same geographical division. So, for example, uh, the Mets will play every team in their division 40 times. Uh, or uh, the uh, total of 40 times, or 40 games, that is. And then they will play 20 games against the likes of the Yankees, the Red Sox, and the Baltimore Orioles, and so forth and so on. So be sure that you are paying attention to this. There could be some great betting wins for you, uh, depending on the teams that uh, are playing. Uh, this is also going to lead to some very weak uh, schedules, as well as some very strong schedules based on the way teams did last year. So this is going to be another thing that you want to take into account when you are wagering on games this season in Major League Baseball. And a couple of the tweaks, uh, last thing, a couple of the tweaks, or one of the big tweaks with the rules that is going to be going on, and this has to do with extra innings because they don't want, or the uh, officials with Major League Baseball do not want players to overtax themselves and to uh, get fatigued as the season goes on and suffer some injuries. And basically just to have things run smoothly, Extra innings games are going to have a tweak. So during the extra inning games, each half inning will begin with a runner on second base, and the batter who made the final out in the previous inning uh, will often be that will, will be that pinch runner uh, for the batter. Uh, now this is to speed up games, so we're not going to see these long extra inning games of 15 innings or 16 innings. And you know what? I think when I heard this rule a few weeks ago, when they first announced it, I thought it was a really stupid rule. I thought it was really silly, but 
the more I think about it, I actually think that this could be something that Major League Baseball actually implements going forward for the future uh, to keep games from going into extra innings, to keep games shorter uh, in time, and to keep fans more interested to watch baseball and to not feel like they need to uh, devote three to four hours of their lives to it. So I think that this could be a rule that starts something for the future. So definitely something to look out for and to be aware of uh, when the Major League Baseball season starts next week. Now, guys, you can find out all kinds of information on the Major League Baseball season over at zcodesystem.com backslash blog. And you can also go and use our tools at the VIP Club to bet on baseball next week and to win profits. Now, next week, we will uh, hopefully be putting up a, a blog on the upcoming games with some predictions for that first weekend and as well as possibly putting up a video here on YouTube. So if you want to see uh, those picks and predictions here on our channel or go over to the blog, be sure that you subscribe and like this video and you can be up to date whenever we post. So guys, good luck this weekend with all of your sports betting and I hope you're getting excited for the baseball season because I know I am. I'm looking forward to this unique 60 game season. So guys, we'll see you soon. Stay safe and uh, have a good weekend. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.